Nature's best bobtail. Welcome back. You tuned into your Feel Good Morning Show Express here on SABC3. It is a fantastic Friday now. Spring is here, and the time has come to spend some more time outdoors in the sunshine, and especially with your pets because they enjoy being outside just as much as you do. So, joining us right now is Dr. Roy Aronson to help us or give us a few tips on how to take care of your pets during springtime. Dr. Roy, welcome. Always nice to have you. Thanks, you. And yes, spring is sprung. The grass is grizz, and the dogs start scratching. Oh, goodness, exactly <laughs> that. When I hear springtime, I hear allergies. Yeah, allergies. So, so, so dogs get allergies as well? Yes, they do. And the main symptom that they get is they scratch. That's, that's what you can see. That's what the owner sees. Yeah. Their skin goes red. Their ears sometimes go red. Their gums go red. Their eyes go red. <sighs> their, their, their bellies go red. And they scratch like crazy. Yeah. So those are all symptoms yeah. to know that your dog is suffering. The main thing you're going to see is the dog will scratch. There are other allergies. There are food allergies. But yeah. the main thing that we get called yeah. out for is the dog is scratching and they can tear themselves apart. Yeah. Do they get the allergies in the same way that, that we do, by breathing in pollen or anything like that? Well, allergy is multifactorial. There's never really one cause. But there are a few basic things. Dogs that get, here's Bob over here, I don't know if you can see him, dogs that get, they scratch at the base of their tail. Yeah. That's really associated more with fleas. When they have red ears and their armpits and they really scratch under there, that is, that is a condition that we call seasonal atopy. A little more prevalent in spring and summer when the pollens are out there. Yeah. Little dogs that run through the grass and through the pollen, they, yeah. they're really affected by this. But it's also inhaled. They inhale allergens. The allergen is something that causes an allergy. And that inhaled allergen causes a, what's called an inhale, an, a seasonal atopy. Yeah. And then once again, they scratch. Yeah. So how severe can it get <clears throat> if left untreated? Well, they can scratch themselves to the point where they're really bleeding. Mm. We, we get things called hot spots, yeah. where the allergy has been left untreated and it's focal and the dog then scratches yeah. and chews itself and you get a big red, raw, inflamed area yeah. that needs care. And you do not want to reach that point. So no. what do you do to prevent it and how do you, how do you treat it? Once the allergy has been actually uh, that's taken hold of the dog, then you do need veterinary intervention, and I'll come to that in a moment. Okay. But there are some things that you as the owner can do yourself. There are four basic things that I really want them to do. Control the external parasites, which is fleas and mm. other things, by using a good quality insecticide. Control the internal parasites. Worms are inside and they mm. live in, our, in the dog's body and they have byproducts that are excreted and those can cause allergies as well. So deworm your dog. Feed it a low allergen diet. You know, if your dog is a normal healthy dog, feed it as you want to. But if it's scratching, one of the things you need mm. to do is look to the diet. Not all food, n not everything is a food allergy, mm. but diet is another thing that you need to do. Right. And the fourth thing is, is bath your dog. Yeah. If you have an itchy head, some of us have hair, <laughs> you'd wash your hair. And, you know, at the end of the day, bathing your dog is a highly effective way. You're washing off from the skin the things that cause allergy. Sure. And there's a new product that I've heard about that's come out in the last few days. When, when allergy happens, the, the actual integrity of the skin is damaged. Mm. And this product is a topical application like we're used to putting on the flea stuff. The stuff, you put it on the dog at the back of the neck and it rolls all over the body in 24 hours. Mm. Very, it's, a micro, it's a very small amount. Yeah. And it restores the actual integrity yeah. of the skin and wow. makes the skin an effective barrier against yeah. allergens. And, and this is an exciting thing because this may spread the gap between treatments. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Roy. Good advice you've been giving us there. And of course, you need to look out for all these uh, allergy symptoms. And also, very important, do not try to self-medicate your dog. Spot the symptoms, get it to a vet. And of course, you can ask your questions to Dr. Roy on Facebook at Roy Aronson and also on Twitter at The African Vet. Graham, over to you, man.